Let me show you something about slavery. See, even when you go even deeper into it, and this is one thing you must understand, when you go deeper into it, slavery was a part of the process. It's called illumination through putrefaction. Where you take something from one stage, take it to its lowest the common denominator, which is a form of a putrefaction, a rot, mm -hmm. and you make something new into it, a new specimen. In actuality, the, the slave took an African and made a new entity out of it, whereas whether you like it or not, we with a pinnacle that all the other African nations follow. You mean African Americans? The Africans in America. Mm -hmm. We are the most unique brand of Negro there is. Ilimu, Otako Kamboa. What? What you say? I said those are windows. Try making some. Might set you free. And no matter how much they claim that we are savages and inferior that the white man put in their head, they follow us. And they follow us and we are unique because we have gone through a process that makes us like nobody else. You see what I'm saying? We are unlike anybody else. We are even unlike the Caribbeans. Mm -hmm. We are the only people that have been made new. And whether you like it or not, we have produced the most innovative inventions, genius, and intellectual ability that's unmatched. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because there's something in us in a transformation that we have gone through. No matter how damn degenerated we might look today walking around the ghettos or whatever. There's something in us that's unique. Illumination through putrefaction. Anybody knows if you go blind, your ears, your hearing becomes better. You go deaf, your sight becomes better. We were left for brain dead in the United States. Which means that we were not functioning on our maximum brain level. But when that happens, the genius kicks in. You see, you're going to find out that we have two heads. Mm -hmm. One is the brain. Mm -hmm. The other brain is the pineal brain. Mm -hmm. And the third eye. As long as the physical brain, the one we have, that we, we, we rely on every day, was functioning on a high level, the pineal brain, brain at this particular time had gotten to a point that it was dormant. So because of the activity of the brain, it's shutting down at a rapid pace with black people in a racial senility. The other brain is going to override it. And that particular brain is the God here. So in order for the Godhead to come in, you have to tear down the old to make ready for the new. You have to have a degeneration of that creation. Once that creation act is created, you have to degenerate or deteriorate to come back even greater than the light that you had before. You see what I'm saying? To get to that new plateau, you had to go to the deepest, darkest decay. And from that decay, the new light comes on. So the other brain is up under here, which has been helping us out through the years, but it's now ready to come online fully. To understand this on a, on a scientific terminology, there's a sister from, from Detroit that used to, there's good friends with um, uh, uh, Richard King, and she was telling me that she works in the hospital, and the white boys are studying the black DNA. And every day they find new amino acids popping up on it. Mm -hmm. And those amino acids are nothing but those new DNA strands coming online. 
So as a result, when I was telling you about the projects and all that stuff, and they had to exterminate some people, when this Kundalini energy that was rising, they had to kill off a great deal of people because they wouldn't have been able to take our energy. So in order to even live on the planet as they are now, by 95, they would have been dead if they hadn't. But don't worry about it, though. It's inevitable anyway. He can't kill us off and live on the planet. Now let me tell you another thing about the white water that a lot of people don't understand. The European is not racist to you based on he's tart racist. The European is racist to you because he can't take your energy. There's a certain energy that we have in us, and when it crosses his streams, he can't take the energy, and it comes out as racism. Based on the science that we get, the white boy is a cross species of different animals plus some human DNA. And the human DNA is what gives him two arms, legs, hands, eyes, and all that. Although he don't look like you. But he has several, you know, apes, some ape, some pig, you see the white skin. Some other stuff. His hair is even fur. So all the black women putting fur in their hair don't realize that ain't up a fur. The only animals that this this got hair like us is revered as Christ animals, the lamb and all that type of stuff. But him, he's has fur, and all the animals has uh, hair like him. If you go into the forest, or you go to the if you go to the forest, or you go to the jungle, everybody will tell you that those animals are scared of you more than you are scared of it. You go, that bear is scared of you. That's what makes him attack. If he don't feel threatened, he won't attack. Since he's made up of animal DNA, the European, when he comes in contact with a human, that xenophobic fear automatically comes out just like the bear does in the doggone forest because he's got latent animal DNA. So therefore, just like the animals fear the humans, he fears the humans too. And we just so happen to be the humans. Please move, ma'am. I can. Okay. Do you live here? I'll be answering that question. Excuse me. I'm yeah, sorry. The, the keypad is right there. Okay. I understand that, ma'am. You you're... can film me. That's okay. fine. I understand, ma'am, but you're blocking me. And into my building. Okay, and okay. it's my building as well, so I need you to get out of my way. Okay, what okay. unit? I don't need to say that information. So excuse me, ma'am. I'm uncomfortable. Me. Okay, you can be uncomfortable. That's, that's your discretion. You're uncomfortable because of you. I need you to move out of my way, please. As much as we may seem that we're not on it, we are really on it. You just have to look at the greater picture. The weeding out station to make us better before we get to the other realm. And basically we were just in a, in a period of a sleep. And our subconscious has always dictated us by somebody programming and telling us what reality really is. And what is reality? A reality is only what you told yourself it was. What you say? I said those are windows, young man. <laughs> Should try making some. Might set you free! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>